Norfolk, Virginia. Raises were hard to come by at the nearby Naval Satellite Communication Station. And when workers decided to go union, there was little interference from the employer who felt a higher wage would help him keep good people. In our collective bargaining agreement, one of the things we got, besides just a basic pay raise, is we also got uh, better overtime, better holidays, uh, vacation increases. We also have a health and welfare benefit hourly amount that covers about 80% of a standard family medical plan. So, you know, there were a lot of benefits came out of it. The most difficult thing of going through the process of bringing a union in was some of the dissenters that we had floating around. So it was very, we had to basically shut down all the rumors and innuendo that, that the dissenters implied. Because you've always got your few that are just adamantly against the union for whatever reason. I think you have to sit down as a group. If you're, if you're thinking of organizing a shop and, be, and, and making it a union shop, you have to sit down as a group and say, what do we want? Uh, and what are your alternatives? Do we put up with a with a management that's really bad and uh, fires people at, at the drop of a hat with no control over them? Uh, we didn't have that problem, but there are shops that do. Do you want more wages? Do you want to at least keep up with the cost of living? Uh, things like that. You have to decide what your goals are as a group and sit down and decide if the union is right for you. And, and I would say 99 times out of 100 they're going to find that the union is right for them. Our co-workers were actually very pleased with what the union brought to the table. No one complained about having more money in their pocket. Um, I know that I'm taking home a couple extra hundred dollars a month.